Hello everyone, Simon here. We're playing Fallout Tactics and we just defeated the Super Mutants. Um, so now I think we're going to a different bunker. Uh, we don't seem to have any Super Mutants in the base to talk to though. Usually there's um, people to have a chat with, like when you save the tribals, the tribals um, appear and we save the ghouls, the ghouls appear. No super mutants appeared yet. I'm pretty sure we should have some people to talk to anyway. Let's just go talk to uh, General Decker and see what he has to say to us. I think we're going to a new bunker. We have won the day in this region. We shall move our operations to the new outpost to the west. Take your squad and report there ASAP. All right. I think we need to drive all the cars ourselves. I don't think we um like uh, we actually need to bring the cars with us. So we're gonna go Simon there, Farsight there, Robin there. And I guess everyone else in the in the Hummer. And we just drive out. And we'll try to fit all the cars. on the exit grid but not crash the Hummer and lose health on it. Alright, so that's as far as we can go. So next up, let's move the Scouter. Again, try not to crash it into... I mean, <laughs> the car the driving is a little bit... unintuitive, like you kind of click on somewhere and then the car just kind of swerves around in a circle. It's not entirely clear where it's gonna go sometimes, especially the fast ones. The APC is slow, so it, like, it turns faster than it moves. Whereas things like the Scouter and the Hummer, they, they move faster than they turn, so they go around these wide arcs. Alright. Bunker Delta, which is somewhere out there. Alright, I'm just gonna. No. So, you know, 100% outdoorsman is actually kind of important because you need to avoid all this. But the thing is, you, you, there are enough skill books, uh, scouting skill books, for you to get 100 outdoorsmen without having to put any points into it, right? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to meet mutants, no. I don't want to meet any new people. <laughs> I just want, to, just want to be on my own in the desert. I don't want to meet mutants. No, c c come on, come on. This is ridiculous. Stop it. S stop it. Alright, good. And Bunker Delta. I suppose we should uh, see if there's any new. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop, 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 stop! Why did you not leave the car? Far side, get out! Get, get out! Get out! All right. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, I'm pretty sure the lockers have nothing. Yeah. I think like two lockers in the entire game has stuff. Two, two bunker lockers. Also, they'll notice the bunker is not really a bunker. We are above ground. It's more like a little fort than a bunker. All right, the mechanic looks like Mr. T, and he oh, he has a repair book. Maybe we should gamble with him. Let's uh, save the game. Let's have Robin gamble with him for all his stuff. See if this works. No, it doesn't work. It does not work. Uh, let's try one more time. We don't actually know we, we can't because we don't have enough stuff to um, gamble with them. 800 or buff out? 
<laughs> no, it's not even close. Alright, um... We lose the first one. Not you. Uh, Robin... Let me just find out which one will win. There is a chance that we can't win any of them. The, there was a ghoul earlier whom I tried to uh, gamble with. And uh, we just lost 8 times in a row and I just gave up. But he didn't really have anything useful, so that's fine. One, two... Okay, the second one. The second one will win. Whereas this one, like a skill book, I'm definitely gonna scam this guy off his... Uh, scam the skill book off this guy, right? But you know, if Vionia has like a um, bit of ammo and stuff like that, then I won't bother with it. So we lose the first one. Uh, since we're here, might as well take all his stuff. Let's see, how much stuff do I have to gamble with? How much is that worth? Well, I'm gonna take his stuff. Done. And we'll put that stuff in the car. I've never repaired my cars before, have I? Alright, and then we read the book. Learn something new, give the money to Farsight. Done, awesome, save the game. Okay, let's go explore the new bunker, which is not really a bunker. What is going on? Giant open area. Cur the merchant. Hello, my child. I am Cur, a humble merchant who travels the wasteland. Uh, we've heard that before. All right, we don't need anything from him. I mean, it's still the same materials, same walls, but it's outdoors instead of indoors. I think it's supposed to indicate how the uh, the Brotherhood's resources are being stretched as we as we go on. The fact that we are no longer in underground bunkers, so like it's like we can't really afford to build fancy bunkers. As, uh, as the war drags on, right? I think that's what it means. Who are these people? Recruits Master? Initiate Perry. You serve humanity well. Oh, Percy. Initiate Percy? Who is that? I don't know why... All right. Well, there's a guy there. Welcome, warrior. I am the person. All right. There's no human. None of this is new. This, I believe, is. All right. That's the barracks, with nothing interesting. Ah, I think. One of these is the uh okay, this is this is the the doctor. Medical officer. Hello, I'm Blythe. I'm Highland's assistant. How may I help you? So he gambles medical supplies, which is interesting, but not Oh, oh I'm sorry. We're pretty busy here lately. In the last 12 hours, I've set 13 broken bones, amputated four limbs, and handled all the patients for daily sick call. Oh, oh, where are my manners? I'm Scribe Highland, but please, just call me Doc. I'm a fixture here, so come by if you're feeling ill. And she's the doctor. So these doctor's bags are kind of good. And if we weren't abusing the save game system to avoid getting shot too much, we'd be using those a lot. <laughs> but since I'm since I'm um, abusing save games like a scumbag, we uh, don't use a lot of them. All right, so that's a doctor, and then we have a 
Porter Master. I seem to remember there being stuff back here. Maybe not now. I seem to remember there being like loot back here. All right, Quartermaster has. Come in, brother. Come in. I'm Hassan, Quartermaster for this fine Brotherhood bunker. Yeah, if you need some great gear, you come to me. We got a motto in this bunker: Inventory is not boring. Inventory is life. Now, how can I help you? Interesting characters in this bunker. Uh, you can't help me because you have nothing I want. Literally nothing. All right, let's go find the general and see what missions we have. There's one mission to find power armor and one mission to find robot parts, I think. Greetings, warrior. Your next mission will bring you to Junction City, a mid-sized town that has refused to form an alliance with the Brotherhood. Their independent posture has been recently reinforced by their victory over one of the robots late last night. Our elders are quite curious how such a battle could be won, considering the lack of heavy weaponry involved. This is a riddle whose answer might be paramount for a victory. See what you can find out. More important than this riddle is the retrieval of the robotic parts from the scene of the battle. We must understand how our enemy works in order to neutralize it, and any robotic remnants might hold the key. Understand that the Reaver movement has been launching probing attacks against Junction City. Our elders believe that they are also searching for robotic pieces. Considering the Reavers zealously worship technology, their involvement comes as no surprise. Try forging a deal with the town's mayor. Robot parts in exchange for protection from the Reaver. We have one last task for you as well. Our senior mechanic Cooter died recently when he triggered an explosive booby trap on a retrieved interceptor vehicle. His apprentice lacks the cognitive ability to fully assume the role, and at times like this we can't have any malfunctioning vehicles involved during a high-risk mission. Intelligence reports that Junction City's mechanic is top-notch and might be persuaded to join the Brotherhood's cause. Find this mechanic and inform her of the wondrous opportunities the Brotherhood can offer. You have your orders. Dismissed. Okay, we're gonna go salvage some robot parts. Maybe uh, kill some reavers. And also hire a mechanic. At least we're not facing a hundred super mutants, am I right? Alright, let's go. Uh, reavers... I'm just trying to remember what we need for this mission. I don't think we need laser pistols. We will get energy weapons off the reavers. And we need to save some of them at least. We might replace our sniper rifles with laser rifles if they have any... Actually, do we get energy weapons? Maybe we don't. Alright, let's go to Junction City, see what happens. Nope, I don't want to meet Reavers, although maybe we should meet Reavers to, f to pick up their weapons. I mean, conceivably, we can go into the wasteland, do these random encounters, get better weapons before we start the mission, right? Conceivably, we can do that. But we won't. Alright. I want to go there in the daytime, if possible, like that. Greetings, warrior. Alright, well, we've seen that before. So we insert here South Gate of Junction City, West North East Gate of Junction City. There's a mechanics shack here. Casey Barrett lives there with her father. There's a bar here called The Pit. The barkeeper is known for his dislike of Brotherhood members. There's a general store here. Town Hall for Junction City is located here. Okay. Well, I think we should go in, have a look at the town before we go out and uh, destroy some Reavers. Unless the Reavers attack. Maybe I should actually maybe I should explore the outside first. I think the Reavers actually attacked the town at some point. Alright, these guys are just standing around. Yeah, I don't actually remember this mission all that clearly. Are there Reavers out here? There's a lot of junk out here. 
Maybe there aren't reavers out here. Okay, what's in this building? Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. What the? What the? Miniguns? What? <laughs> okay, we just walked right into a bunch of reavers. Alright, let's shoot these guys before we get shot too much. So you might notice that they're not that strong. Like, compared to the super mutants, they don't do anything, right? Look at them. Uh, let me just shoot this guy until he dies. Their weapons are pretty decent, but they don't have much armor. Which is fine by me, to be honest. Alright, well, we found the enemies. And they're not using energy weapons, which is good. Okay, let me save the game and Robin can come out here. Let me just reload everybody. Yeah, so there are Reavers out here, although it's not entirely clear where they are. Save the game, in combat, walk around here a little bit. Oh, burst fire is what I want. Uh, uh, get wrecked. I guess I should pick up this stuff while I'm here. Oh, hey, there you go. A laser... Sunbeam laser rifle. Actually, Stein should pick up this stuff. Let's have Stein pick up this stuff. Futuristic weapon? Not very good. The Reavers, they worship technology. And they some of them have futuristic looking weapons that aren't actually very good. Like these, the uh, the Satya Org. Although some of them do have um, Vindicator miniguns, I think. No, that's an Avenger minigun. I'm not gonna have enough space for this stuff, am I? So let's check this gun. So 20 to 30, 40 range. This thing is 13 to 24, 20, I mean 13 to 27, 24 range. It's not bad. It's also not good. So I'm gonna stick with what we have. On the other hand, the Sunbeam laser rifle uses microfusion cells. So the sniper rifle is 18 to 46, range 50. 29 to 65, range 45, right? Slightly less range, but much more damage. 29 to 65, 45. Range 50, range 45. Like ridiculous amounts more damage. Also, it uses 5 action points. Which is a problem because... Um, we have 9 action points here, so 2 shots with this is going to be 10 action points. There's a perk later that uh, reduces the number of action points you need to fire any gun. And basically we kind of need that perk before we can use energy weapons effectively. Except for Robin. Robin can fire 2 shots with it because he has 10 action points. I might put this on Robin if he can carry it without being over encumbered. And also we need more microfusion cells because we only have 12. But um... What we're going to do is, we're going to collect six uh, laser rifles before the before we start meeting robots. And we're just going to switch them over as soon as we meet robots, because we're going to need them. Oh hey, there's a person in here. Hi. And there's a plasma rifle, amazing! Plasma rifle. I guess that's why the Reavers were here, they want to get the plasma rifle. Let me uh, take your food, excuse me, let me just grab your meat jerky, if you don't mind. And your cookies. And your plasma rifle. And your shelves. Oh, another FN, F FN fell, which we're not going to use at all because we don't use more guns anymore. <laughs> I have to give you these guns so late in the game. Uh, Raider, this is your husband, right? Thank you. How are you? You, you with your big guns and your armor, your, 
You are too late. They killed my Hank. They shot him in the face and took his robot piece and mumbled something about it being the tool of Satan soft. Why would they do that? My Hank was a good man. <laughs> well, I followed them to their camp. It's to the northeast of town. You have to go there. Go there and cut them down. Like they cut down my poor Hank. All right. So the Reavers killed this woman's husband to take the uh, robot piece. But you notice that he's a raider. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he really, really is a good man. Okay, well, we're going to get out of there. In the meantime, plasma rifle. Amazing. We're going to give that to Robbins to compare. Um... So the laser rifle is 23 to 50, range 45. Oh, the numbers change from person to person because it counts the the perks and the damage bonus. So 23 to 50, 45. 35 to 60, 35. So it's got less range, but it does more damage. Uh, eventually, we're going to just be holding one in each hand. Like We'll be holding a, a laser rifle in one hand and a plasma rifle in the other hand. And depending on whether we need to snipe or do damage, we just switch them around. Kind of like this, kind of like this, like range or damage, range or damage. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think this is like the first time in the entire game where the game actually gives us the weapons that we will need later on before we need them. <laughs> Although they kind of have to. Like, you can kind of kill a super mutant with an AK-47. Kind of. You really, really can't kill robots with anything other than energy weapons. <laughs> Unless you want to, like, sit there for hours trying to shoot it with a sniper rifle. Which, I mean, eventually you'll kill it if you get enough lucky critical hits. But yeah, you really, really, really need these weapons. For the robots. And uh, they're gonna give it to us before we get there, that's good. Alright, so I don't see anything up here. And the exit grid... Oh, there's these um, guards again. The, the exit after we finish the mission... I think the exit grid is up here? Let me just check the pit boy. So see that little green rectangle? I think that is actually the exit grid. Maybe that is too. So if we need to overload, over-encumber someone to carry loot away, maybe we do it there. Uh, Alright, so there's a whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh, look, it's an underground thing. What is this? Have we. I don't remember this underground thing. What is this? Oh, there's caves down here, and it goes. There's a loot. And it goes into the town, doesn't it? It goes there, wherever there is. Hold on. Okay, it goes into the town, I see. Juan's Emporium. Okay, well I guess we'll have a look down here. Robin. Robin goes first. Oh crap. Did a... Is that what I think it is? Did a giant... Bear? What is that thing? Oh, they're giant rats. Um. Okay, you're gonna walk back. And everyone else is going to Overwatch. Those are giant rats. Like they, they're not just. They're bigger than cows. Look at them. And I don't think they can fit through that door, in fact. Yeah, they don't seem to be able to fit through that door. Which is uh, interesting. 
Can I hit both? I can, but I can't kill both. Alright, let me just end turn. Oh, I didn't overwatch. Crap. 